हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच अ लेसन दैट इज चैप्टर थ्री फाइबर टू फैब्रिक इन दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट वी लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट वी लर्न द डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी regarding this chapter first term is fiber do you know what is fiber a fiber is very fine here like a structure obtained from plants or animals we can also take or obtain such fiber from insect like silkworm next that is yarn what is yarn you know yarn is made up of two or more than two fiber twisted and overlap together in definite pattern we can make yarn by process of yarning with the help of takli और चरखा सो दे डिफरेंस इन यार्ड एंड थ्रेड और सिंगल थ्रेड इज मेड अप ऑफ टू और मोर देन टू यार्ड इफ यू री ओपेन द एनी थ्रेड देन यू विल फाइंड इट मे बी टू यार्ड और इट मे बी थ्री यार्ड और इट मे बी मोर देन टू यार्ड so two or more than two yarn together make a thread the heading of this chapter is fiber to fabric so what do you mean by fabric a fabric is large number of thread interwoven together either manually or through machine and form a cloth or garment that is known as fabric the fabric is used for making different dresses uniform that we are wearing at different occasion different season fabric is generally used for different purposes like uh, making curtain making bed sheet making shirt t-shirt trouser so there are different fabric on the basis of chemical property texture structure some fabric are soft some fabric are rough some fabric we use in winter season like woolen fabric some fabric we are using in summer season that is cotton fabric some fabric we are using all year that is the mixture of cotton and some synthetic fabric next the other word is knitting the basic terminology of this chapter is knitting you know what is knitting knitting it is a process of making fabric from thread or yarn with the help of a small needle through manual process 
and with the help of machine so generally we use a thread and needles with the help of two needles we can make woolen fabric cotton fabric generally the woolen fabric are made with the help of big needles you have observed in daily life the process of knitting in your house have you seen your mother is making the woolen cloth that process is knitting next terminology terminology that is yarning do you know what is yarning the process of making yarn from more than one fiber with the help of takli or charkha is known as yarning next that is known as spinning a spinning it is the process through which we make thread and make a small ball like structure of the thread next terminology related to separation of cotton fiber and cotton seed that is known as ginning it is the process of separation of cotton fiber that is white in color from the mixture of cotton fiber and cotton black seed with the help of comb or some special apparatus that is known as ginning now if you have seen the cotton ball cotton ball what is cotton ball it is the fruit of cotton plant that contain cotton fiber and cotton seed so what is cotton seed you know that is black is in color it may contain some oil it may may be have medicinal use but cotton fiber it is made up of cellulose that cellulose is polysaccharides carbohydrate and insoluble in water so next the slide that indicate the process of making fabric that process is known as knitting you see in the left side the two needles and the thread that is interlocked interwoven in a definite pattern for making fabric of woolen cloth or we can also use this technique for making the cotton cloth the other diagram or picture indicating the process of ginning that process is known as ginning means separation of cotton fiber from the mixture of cotton seed and cotton fiber when we collect the cotton ball from the field of cotton so you, you must know this terminology in the chapter that is fiber to fabric next you know the type of fiber on the basis of source and nature this cotton this fiber have different source first is plant source the fiber that we obtain from different plants like cotton that is cotton ball from the cotton ball we get cellulosic fiber and from the 
the steam of sun hemp and jute we get this sun hemp fiber or jute fiber so that is the plant source we also get some other fiber from the different plants next so that is the animal source we get the different hair like a structure from the body surface of the sheep goat camel that is made up of protein that is the fiber that will use for making woolen fabric the third category that is fiber we getting from the insect although it will come in the category of animal fiber source but i am telling this is the insect like silk worm and a spider from the silk worm we get the silk it is also a protein and from a spider we also get fiber it is used for making bullet proof material through modification with the help of biotechnology and recombinant dna technology next category the type of fiber is artificial or man made or synthetic fiber so in the heading of, of the type of fiber generally it is the two category one is natural source fiber and other is artificial or synthetic or man made fiber in the natural source fiber i have discussed plant source fiber animal source fiber insect source fiber and in the heading of synthetic fiber that is the man made fiber you know example of this synthetic fiber that is nylon polyester acrylic that is totally synthesized in the lab with the help of chemical there is no role of natural products for making such type of fiber but if we compare the natural source fiber and synthetic fiber synthetic fiber it is very strong it is durable there is no change in the appearance colors dye but it can cause irritation that is allergy but if you see when we are using natural fiber it is very comfortable eco friendly it never cause any irritation or allergy for our body so natural fiber is a very good fiber that is suitable for different season like in winter we use woolen fiber or fabric in summer we use cotton fiber or fabric silk fiber we can use in any season as per our choice next this is the classification of the fiber on the basis of source i have already discussed uh, this uh, i have already discussed this uh, that is uh, the natural fiber and man made fiber the natural fiber that is the produced from insect like silk and a spider and we get the fiber also from vegetables that is the plants that is cotton fiber sunhem fiber jute fiber ramis fiber and from the leaf we get manila leaf sisal leaf and we also get the particular type of fiber that is the coir from coconut fruit so have you seen the outer covering of coconut fruit that is also known as coir and it is used for making rope have you seen the flax 
sun hemp so these are the natural source fiber we get obtain from plants and in animal source we get the fiber from the body surface of the animal like sheep camel goat have you heard about pasmina silk sorry pasmina sol that is produced fr from the fiber of goat and there are different type of fabric woolen fabric that is produced from the fiber of animals now come in the category of man made fiber it is artificial and it is totally synthesized from the chemicals you know artificial fiber polynosic tri acetate it is use of protein and then the organic fiber source that is acrylic polyester trivinyl so there are lot of different example of synthetic fiber that is man made fiber if you see the others like textile glass carbons that is the various variation of the man made fiber that is artificial fiber but generally in the field, field of textile industry there are utilization of mixture of both natural fiber and synthetic fiber for the comfort of customers so these are the classification of fiber next you see the diagram in this diagram you get some samples from where we are getting the either natural fiber or man made fiber so if you see the diagram then you find a cotton ball and sun hemp and jute plant so these are the source from the stem part of sun hemp we are getting the sun hemp fiber then jute fiber but from the fruit part of the cotton we are getting this cotton fiber now if you see the animal source fiber we get the fiber from the wool and from the body surface of animals like camel sheep goat and you find different animals from where we are getting that type of fiber the insect fiber example is silk and a spider i have already discussed these things means they are going to modify and make the strength of that fiber with the help of biotechnology next that is man made fiber you know the in the diagram there is acrylic then polyester then fiber cast then nylon so these are the different examples of man made fiber i have only compare the natural fiber and man made fiber so if you see in this uh, chart the diagrammatically illustration of source of fiber so if you see the diagram it clearly indicate that very what are the different source of the fiber and what is the utilization of fiber which fiber is better now different industry utilize the mixture of natural fabric with man made fabric that is artificial fabric so next that is the what are the different part of plant and animals that is utilized for making thread from the fiber so there are few examples i have discussed in this slide the cotton we get from cotton ball 
so what is cotton ball it is a fruit and of the cotton plant and we get it from the cotton plant that is cellulosic in nature means it is it is carbohydrate that is polysaccharides and if you see the jute plant it is also a uh, cellulose generally the fabric we are fiber we obtain from the plant is cellulosic in nature means made up of carbohydrate the carbohydrate that is polysaccharides polysaccharides means the smallest large number unit of glucose joined together and it is insoluble in water and it is highly strong next source of fiber that is animal source the we get the wool and silk from the different body part of the animals like insect and hair of the animals body part so example is wool wool we get from outer body part of animal like sheep camel then goat so, so there are so many category of this wool some is horse a rough category of wool that is used for making the different garments and there are some category that is soft that is used for making mainly shawl our sweaters now other category other example of fiber animal source fiber that is silk we get from cocoon inside the cocoon they add shape a structure thread like a structure that is synthesized by the silk worm and then after boiling this silk worm stays that is cocoon stays we get that fiber from that cocoon next category that is a spider web silk that is synthesized from a spider it is also utilized in this era of biotechnology for making bullet proof jacket so this is the fiber and body part of plant or animal where we are getting such type of fiber next if you see that is the allostatic diagram that is the classification of the fiber in the field of te textile industry on the basis of chemical nature so anybody ask what is the nature of the silk fiber whether it is the carbohydrate or protein or fat it is it is a protein so generally what we are getting the fiber or from animals these all are protein so if you see the structure first then you will observe the protein portion in the right side horizontal horizontal position the circular diagrams then you find different animals like alpaca camels llama mahair vicula sheep goat so these are the animal source that is natural source but the nature of this the fiber obtained from this plant uh, animals are proteinaceous in nature that is the protein so we can say we are what the fiber we are obtaining from the animal they are generally it is protein it is not a carbohydrate not a fat not other chemical compound only protein we can also say we can we are getting the silk that is also a protein that is indicated here so this is the source next source that is uh, whatever the fiber we are getting from plants 
different body part of the plant like fruit of the cotton then fruit of the kapok so you get we get the fiber that is cellulosic fiber that is along with seed there is a hair like structure that is moving in the along with the wind you have observed in your daily life that is cellulosic fiber means it is cellulose that is it means it is carbohydrate now if you see we also get the fiber from the leaf of the plant that is manila plant sisal plant we get the fiber from this that is also carbohydrate in nature it means it is made up of cellulose and a smallest unit of cellulose is glucose and large number of glucose chain make a chain and form of fiber in the same way if we see the bast the outer covering of the stem like jute you have seen the sacks your bags the sari same other example sun hemp then flax the remis so you must remember these are the example from where we get the fiber from pericycle means uh, phloem part outer covering of the stem and through process of rating we get the soft fiber of the outer covering in presence of microbial action in the submerged condition of, of the water inside the pond in the river we obtain after 2 to 3 weeks through process of rating next that is in organic source like glass metallics and other natural fibers that is pla chitosan so these are the different source fiber we get the natural polymers like like cellulose fibers rayon lycosol acetate tristate we can get from other source now come to the synthetic polymers means a smallest unit they are joined together and make a large chain so the, so they are vast category that is the man made fiber that is the man made fiber you see acrylic anidex then nylon polyester saran vinyl so polyester so these are the different example of synthetic fiber that is purely synthesized from the chemical inside the lab in presence of chemical reagent catalyst so it is totally man made synthetic fiber that is synthesized in the lab next if we see the fiber asbestos so that is produced from minerals so these are the different fiber that have the nature on the basis of chemical property so that is the utilization of this property in the field of textile industry and you must know the basic knowledge regarding the property chemical property which on that basis we will decide or customer will decide which fabric is suitable for us in different season whether that suitable for summer season or winter season or autumn season on the chemical property basis we will decide what type of fabric we require so you must recognize what are the different chemical property so you must do the project that collection of different fabric and collection of different fiber and try to recognize through touching through burning in the candle in presence of your parents you try to feel the smell of one to two fiber burning in presence in front of candle and try to get experience but you should do that project in presence of your parents next the process for obtaining the jute fiber 
that is through process of rating so rating is a microbial action in presence of microbes or bacteria will loosen the outer covering of that fabric that uh, fiber that is jute or sunham fiber that is also cellulosic in nature when we submerge it after 2 to 3 weeks it becomes soft and then we separate from the stem of that jute so in this diagram if you see this is the jute plant in the same way we can also observe the sunham and then when it become mature then we cut the stem portion and make a bundle and then put inside water submerge inside that and then after 2 to 3 weeks we get the fiber due to loosening by bacteria inside the submerged water condition so we wash it in the same water and then we dry it and we get that fiber so that process is required that process require water as well as microbial environment only then we can easily separate that fiber from the stem of sunham or from jute plant after processing we refine it and then we produce different products like sacks like bags then sari so that is the application so from where we get the such type of uh, jute plant or sunham plant in india mainly major producing state of jute plant is west bengal assam bihar and country wise if you see the bangladesh is the major producing state of that jute plant it is also known as golden fiber if you see the cotton then we can also say it is white gold that it will grow inside the black soil in the state like maharashtra then gujarat some part of karnataka you can also observe so these are the leading state for the production of cotton so if we see the process for growing and separation and then processing then making of uh, yarn thread and making of fabric step by step we proceed for making the fabric of the cotton so first grow the cotton plant generally we are going, going the natural condition cotton plant but nowadays we are also utilizing we are growing bt cotton that is synthesized by scientist it is a transgenic plant so the, the insect like cotton ball worm that cannot destroy the cotton ball of that cotton plant so that cannot damage so it is eco friendly we can grow the cotton plant and we can produce huge quantity of cotton ball from that bt cotton we can also say it is a bt cotton and we are the farmer are growing for getting better benefit from the fiber so first we collect the ball from the full grown cotton ball mature cotton ball then store it then we proceed for se separation by process of gaining then collect and then grade it after cleaning we proceed again for final gaining then we make a ball of the yarn then we proceed for spinning for making thread and then finally we proceed 
in the cotton industry for making fabric and then after making fabric we proceed for final finishing through different dye color then we proceed for stitching for making different garments different dress different uniform and then we proceed after preparation of the different uniform different dress different garments we send to retailer for selling purpose only then we can we are we all are consumer can, are able to purchase the different quality of the different garments that is contain slight amount of the cotton fabric so this is a very good fiber and it is comfortable in all seasons so if you know if you have any questions regarding this chapter you can ask and if you also read the ncert cbse test book and try to complete the exercise so if you see the cotton ball try to observe what is cotton ball if you see the plant of cotton try to observe this is the fruit the plant of jute or sun hem try to observe and if you see the seri sericulture you know sericulture that is the cultivation and cultivation of silk worm that for production of the silk that is sericulture we get the silk fiber from the silk worm then able to understand what are the different source of fiber have you seen the spider that is also a source of fiber you also find some fiber from the leaf for uh, leafy plant so try to know the different terminology of this chapter and try to understand what is fiber what is fabric what is gaining what is rating so these are the different terminology thank you and have a nice day